Well, hello again, dear students of Northern Luzon Adventist College. This is the second part of our video tutorial regarding our learning management system. And if you are watching this video, it only means that you have successfully uh, logged in your account in our LMS. So what you see now in this video is what we call the home page or your dashboard. There are important things that you need to take note, important information that you need to consider in this dashboard or this home page. First and foremost is the guidelines for online learning and the important reminder when you attend your class. Read it carefully, try to understand it so that you will have a smooth learning or a smooth class this coming school year. Also, I would like to direct your attention to this icon here. This little icon, you could use this to turn off or turn on the sidebar. This is the sidebar that contains your uh, menus or options for your LMS. Now, if you happen not to see the sidebar, all you have to do is click this icon and then you could be able to see it again. Now, for this video, I'm going to teach you how are you going to update your account. Your account consists of your profile picture and your password. For your profile picture, um, it is advisable that you put your, uh, take a picture of yourself wearing your uniform. Why? Because this is a class. So, and... One thing more, your profile picture will be used later on in the making of your ID. So, dear students, dress yourself, wear your uniform, ask someone to take your picture, and then um, have a plain background. Huh? Have a plain background, ask someone to take your picture, wear your best smile, have a good haircut, and then upload your picture. Then we will download that and use that for your ID. Now, how are we going to do that? Simply go to my account, and then you could see here the interface for that uh, account, and then click Browse. Go to your folder where you save your device and look for that picture that you have taken. For this example, I'm going to use this guy as an example for this demo. And then click open. You could see that the file name is displayed there. Do not click upload if the file name is not displayed. Make sure that you could see the name of the file in this uh, box before you click upload. Because you may upload the wrong file or no file at all. All you have to do is go back, browse, okay? And then select the, select the file, okay? And then click upload. Okay, wait for it. There you go. If you don't have a very good internet connection, I think you have to wait a little. The speed of the upload depends on the internet connection. So when you upload or do your LMS, uh, make sure you have a stable connection. Now, let's go to the password. I know, especially the college, uh, we have the system had given you a password that is very hard to remember. No problem for that. All you have to do is type it here, your old password, and then enter your new password, whatever that new password is, and then retype again that password. Make sure that what you enter there as your new password, you would be able to remember it and take it note, write it down so that you will not have any problem logging in into your system. Remember, if you forgot your password, that is a delay on your class. So make sure what you enter in your new password and confirm password are the same and can be remembered by you. If if it is possible, take a screen capture or jot it down in a notebook that 
or a paper that you could give it throughout the semester or the school year. Okay, so uh, this is our topic for this uh, video. I will create another video for another feature of our LMS. Bye!